Hello, welcome and thanks for stopping by to look at the video on the OTK BSD brake caliper rebuild. Had some issues on the weekend with the brake retaining pin here uh, being too tight in its mounting and the thermal expansion of the brake uh, caliper has been snapping the, the bolt which is just my error, I've learnt my lesson and now we're going to put us together and hopefully have no more issues. So during our endurance event the pin has uh, broken and it's dumped the pads out at around the one hour mark causing a fair bit of damage as you can see here to one of the piston. The other one's not too bad the pad stayed on on this side however there still is some damage so we've got some new ones with the magnets already switched over. Uh, first of all what you're going to need to do is remove your caliper from your cart using a 13mm ring spanner uh, once we got to that point with the pads out, easiest way is I don't have a compressor here, uh, easiest way to remove the pistons is to leave it attached to your lines and just pump uh, pump your brake, uh, your brake pedal until the, the pistons pop out. Once they've popped out, make sure you've got a rag or something to soak up any of the excess fluid that's going to come out. And then with the 14mm, uh, remove the brake lines. From there, what we need to do now, we've got the pistons out. We've used a two and a half mil uh, Allen bit, hex bit, to swap over the magnets onto the new pistons. We've got new seals as well. So to get the new seals, we'll get the old seals out. I've got a small sharp scalpel here. You can use a number of items as long as you're comfortable with it. You're not going to damage uh, damage the piston as well as the or damage the caliper, as we really can't do with. Um, with any scratches or damage inside here. So a small sharp item just to pierce the side of the rubber and remove it should be, should be fine. So now we've got it out of the, out of its area where it sits. I don't know if you can maybe not really see that too well. Get your finger in there and just remove the seal. There's one old one out, other side, same, di uh, same deal. Just stab it into the side of the rubber and remove it with your hands there like that. Right, so now I've already given this a really good clean with the, the motor brake clean. We'll just give this a quick uh, spray through again anyway. And then now wipe out. Once we've wiped it out, it's going to check for any gunk, any uh, any issues or any marks in that um, in that channel where the the brake seal, the piston seal, sorry, are going to are going to sit in there. Okay, so those are all good to go. The channels are nice and clear, as you can hopefully see there. Channels are clear, and they're ready for the new seals to go in. Now these don't have a lip or anything on there, so as long as they go in, they're in the right orientation. A little bit tricky to get them back in, but um, it's as easy easy as slot in one end into the groove, and then just work it around around the outside, and it will just slot into there nicely like that. Other side, same deal. Press one end in, and then just work the rest of the, the seal in. Right, so now the seals are both in, everything's all good, so they're ready to put the new pistons in. Ideally, you want to chuck a little bit of uh, brake fluid in around the piston to help lubricate the seal as well. So just pour a little bit into the cap. Now I always stab both sides of the foil seal, so you don't get a whole lot coming out, but you still get a nice controlled flow. Make sure you wear some gloves as well. I've got a couple of cuts on my hand that I didn't know about until I actually pulled the pistons out to start with. So, yeah, always a good idea to wear gloves when you're using any of these sort of solvents or um, or brake fluid, um, brake fluid itself. Now to sit it in there, slide your piston back up into its little housing, and then just firm press. We'll send it back past 
past the uh, the seal like so same again on the other side make sure you lube up the piston with the brake fluid try and sit it in nice and square give it a good squeeze can be a little bit tricky to get it started like this one's been maybe a little bit more brake fluid Always one side's not, not going to be as easy as the other one. Right, I'll be back. Alright, once that's done, we're ready to slip these pads in there. And they'll just seat down onto the onto the magnets. Now these are used pads. Uh, they've still got plenty of life left in them. This one has a little bit of surface rust on there that'll come off uh, pretty quickly onto the uh, the brake rotor. As I've lost one, so I've got one brand new nice pad, and then one has been lost to the track somewhere. But that's all right. So just insert it through here. and then feed it through to the other end. This is a, what do you need here? A four mil uh, Allen bit. And that'll seat it in there. Now the key here is not to do these up tight. Do these up enough that it's not gonna come out. But make sure there's a gap for the thermal expansion. So you can see there, a little bit of a little bit of back and forth so we're not going to have hopefully the same issue as last time with the, the retaining bolt splitting do our little safety safety uh, bush up here and just nip that up and now the caliper is ready to install back on the car okay now we have our caliper mounted back onto the car I'm going to take our brake lines which we've had covered so just to soak, uh, soak up any leakage. Get them started. Back onto your caliper. And then they're going to be tightened back up again with the, the 14mm ring spanner. Okay, now we've got our caliper back on. We've got our 8mm piece on here and a bit of fuel line running off the side. These other EP methods you can use like the bleed tower from up on the master cylinder. I prefer this one. I've done it for years on cars and it, and it works. And trace your line, the, out, or the outside line onto the caliper. Loops around and it actually becomes the inside line on the master cylinder here. So just make sure you're aware of that. Add some fluid in there as well. There's a big air, line, uh, air bubbles in the lines and they're, uh, you can need to flush those things through. So what we're going to need to do is pump the brake cylinder, so pump the brake pedal right down as far as you can and then open the bleed nipple. Here the air pop through, close it off and then release the brakes. Make sure you don't release the brakes while the bleed nipple's open, it'll just draw air back into the system. Next up we'll give it two pumps and then open the bleed nipple. You can see, start to see fluid coming out and just continue on until you get a good pedal feel and a solid stream of fresh fluid coming out with no air bubbles. Okay, now both sides of the caliper have been bled, all the air bubbles are gone and the uh, fresh fluid is nicely, nicely running through. To top these up, about halfway or so, 
is these uh, these rubber seals underneath the actual the cap themselves. They do go a wee way down into the into the master cylinder. Place your cap. And now just give it a wipe down and a clean with some uh, brake cleaner and uh, and your system's ready to go, you're back on track. New pistons, new seals, new pads or half-worn pads, new fluid, you should have a good pedal under your foot. Thanks for watching and I hope that was uh, helpful.